everybody. I'm here obviously to talk about advertising, but not because I am, my job is to be a madman, but simply because I am a cyclist and I spend most of my time on the roads of Italy, uh, riding and riding for thousands of kilometers. And I have a strong relationship with the environment. So we will talk about advertising and environment in a very simple way. I call the Fiumicino effect uh, the fact that each time I fly back from a trip abroad and I land into airport, the Roman airport, Fiumicino, and I enter inside the building, I start comparing what I've left behind abroad and what I find here in Italy. And I continue this comparison when I drive my car. In my mind, there are the images of the roads that I've left abroad, but while my, I am driving my car, my eyes look at images like this. And I have to say that this is very frustrating to me. Um, I think that we live in one of the most beautiful countries in the world, probably the best country in the world in terms of monuments and natural landscapes, arts, history, culture. It's full of marvelous spots spread through the nation. And all these spots are linked by a network of roads that sometimes are not just what we expect to have as a link between wonderful places. I just chosen one image, but I have found a lot of images about the situation and the condition of our environment, our standard environment, and it's, it's very tough. But I don't want to talk about aesthetic, that's not the point. I'm talking about something deeper. I'm talking about the, the citizenship. When I see images like this, uh, I think that the relation with the environment is a good measure to evaluate the participation of the citizen into the res publica. And I'm scared about it. I'm scared about the fact that young generation may grow up in places like this, because this will have an impact, an influence on their life. So, my first reaction is to blame public administration for this, local administration for this, but this is a time of crisis, and it's not just uh, uh, the right way to blame local administration. They have their budgets, they try to allocate their budgets in order to solve problems and priorities, and maybe sometimes the environment, the status of the environment is not their first priority. Today we have spoke a lot about the changing in marketing and communication and advertising that are great in this period. If this is the period of the crisis, this is also the period of, the period of great marketing changes. And it's amazing to see how companies, brands, start to interact with these new skills, new way, new media to communicate and to interact with people. Uh, from our perspective, when we talk with our clients, with the brands, with the companies, we consider the media in a three partition that I will explain for those who are not so confident with, this, with these terms. We have the both media, the owned media, and the earned media. Both media are the media that are used by companies to run their campaigns. So try to imagine a simply 30 seconds TV commercial or a radio commercial or an, an advertising page or newspaper and stuff like that. The owned media are the media that each company owns and uses for its communication. They may be physical or virtual, trying to imagine a pack shot or even a website, but also a point of sale or stuff like that. And there, is, there are the earned media, which is another category very important, and we are focusing in this digital revolution about the earned media, because are the media that company can uh, use to communicate with people, even if they are not owned by the company, and they are not both but the, by the company. Try to imagine what happens when a viral campaign or a flash mob uh, uh, is able to, to, to be in the, in the, in the native news on, on, on the televisions, for instance. That space is that visibility for the brand came from an activity that is earned, has not been both, has not been owned. So this is very, very interesting. Companies from one side are struggling to find new ways to interact, to engage with people, and to, to create strong relationships with their customers. On the other hand, if we 
we remember, we have local administration who are struggling to find a way to solve their local problems, to, to find their budgets in order to satisfy all the priorities. And I was, while I was riding my bicycle, considering a link between these two points. Why do not we consider a new kind of media when the needs of one side, the companies, match the needs of the local administration? Try to imagine what happens if the local administration, which is also owner of media, because if you think at the posters on the streets or the billboards in the, in the cities that are media for companies, interesting to, to run campaigns on, try to imagine what happens if we match the availability of space of local administration and the need to communicate in new way to impact target to engage customer from the brands and the agencies who work in communication. Um, I, I like to, to, to imagine, to design a new category of media that I call the dessert media. Imagine that, for instance, try, try to imagine a poster, a billboard on, on the road, that is sponsored by a company who, and is uh, trying to imagine a, a logo of a, of a company inside this billboard. Okay? This could be a, a billboard which is a manifesto of engagement of the company to keep clean the road in the mile around the poster. So it's a, a, a media that could be given for free from local administration and, and which imply the commitment of the company to keep the space, the space clean. Obviously, this is just, if we consider it from a, a, a small perspective, it could be just uh, a single activity of one brand for making a kind of green communication, a CSR activity or a cost marketing activity. But try to imagine what happens if that deserved media budget becomes an uh, allocation that is mandatory, for instance, because there is a chance to ask the company to deserve a part of their, to dedicate, excuse me, a part of their budget for activities like this one. Try to imagine what happens if this is not just something that happens in a one single road, in a small road, but it, amps, it happens nationwide. The impact is huge. We will have lots of clean roads, lots of clean spaces. We will have citizens happy of living in better spaces. We will have local administration able to serve better their customers, which are citizens. And, then we will, and we will have brands who give strong message to the target, and will ha which will have a, a, a great role in the life of each customer. It will, be great. it will be great. What I really hope in the future is to have a system like this, which could reverse my Fumicino effect. I hope that somebody coming from France or Britain has come back, has fly back to their nation, will have a Heathrow effect or a Chardecol effect. That's what I really hope. Thank you.